All right, guys, welcome to our first lecture in the research class. This is just a real brief introduction on introduction, or on uh, just basics of research. So um, to start off, just kind of a research, I guess, definition that we'll work with is that it's a systematic process of discovery and advancement of human knowledge. So some things about that that we need to know or that we need to understand is that um, it's going to ultimately involve multiple steps. Likely research should generate new information. Um, and it also should advance our understanding of a particular topic. So there's a bunch of purposes for, of research. Um, just a couple is, um, you know, we can uh, investigate an existing situation within an organization. Um, we could try to make real specific research that provides, you know, a solution to a, a problem that we're facing in an organization. Maybe we want to explore uh, a general issue more. Or we may do research in order to um, develop or um, construct a, a new system or procedure or way of doing something within our organization. Uh, and as we go along, we'll talk about a, a lot more different ways or different ideas of research. So, um, from looking at it from the standpoint of types of research, it kind of depends on, um, on, you know, what we're trying to do with the research. That's going to give us an idea of, of, of what kind of research we're going to do. Um, you know, what are our objectives? What are we trying to accomplish with our research? Um, what type of information are we trying to find? Okay, are we are we trying to, to, to sort out? Um, what kind of data do we have available? And then also, what kind of data sources are we analyzing? All these things would dictate what types of research um, that we're gonna uh, we're gonna do. So, two kind of broad categories to look at: pure research. Um, is really where we're trying to gain an understanding of, of a kind of a theoretical concept. Um, so an example might be, um, you know, like research on, on the theory of leadership, you know, um, say great man theory. Well, that's something that's not necessarily um, concrete. It's kind of out there in that realm of theory. And maybe we might want to do research that, give us a little bit of better of understanding of, of what people think about great man theory. Applied research is more what we're probably um, probably involved in. This is where we're looking to solve a specific problem. We've got an issue in our organization and we're trying. So on the left side of this, this uh, chart, we're kind of looking at the qualitative side of it, the narrative data. So this would be interviews. This would be maybe observations that we do out in the field. This could be uh, historical research. Uh, and the stuff on the right is looking more at quantitative or stuff looking with, with numbers. So we're looking at things like describing a phenomenon, um, trying to find a relationship, a predictor relationship. Um, looking at, you know, uh, cause and effect. Um, this is also where experimental research comes in. So it's kind of up, up to us to decide what's really, you know, kind of best for our organization. So um, we have to kind of know the objective of our research. And we've already talked about this a little bit, but there's really four kind of things we're looking at. It could be exploratory, meaning that we really don't necessarily have a research question that's really well defined. We're trying to kind of explore what's out there. Um, it could be descriptive, where we're focusing on what's happening within a situation. It could be explanatory, while we're looking at why is that situation happening. Or it could be predictive, where we're trying to forecast the likelihood that something will happen. And so we we that's kind of our four, you know, broad ideas of why or objectives of research and it's going to differ every single time and then we've got to look at you know how we're going to get our information for our research so we have three three broad categories um, and we talked about this a little bit just a second ago qualitative uh, is dealing with narrative data so this is uh, typically used to kind of describe a problem. This is where we're going to let people talk, talk their way 
out of, of what they're thinking. So um, we'll use the example of, let's say we were trying to do research on how NAIA athletes feel um, feel that they're treated by, by their coaches or treated as athletes. From a qualitative standpoint, we would simply, we could interview them, we could do focus groups, and we're just going to ask them the question and let them answer. We're going to either record it, uh, video it, take notes on it, and we're going to look for themes that, um, that resonate through all those people. In that same research scenario, if we wanted to do quantitative, um, we could also, we could do a survey, but maybe it's on a scale. Um, where, you know, um, we're giving them, say, 15, 20 questions. They're answered on a locker type scale, a one through five type scale, and we just simply report the statistics. Or we could do a mixed methods, which is a combination of both. Maybe we have a focus group with, say, 15 or 20 athletes, and then let's say maybe we survey 300, and then we use all that information combined to make a to make an idea, make a judgment of what we what we think. Um, we have to look at what kind of data we have. So theoretical data um, is where um, we use data that's already out there, findings from other studies that are already out there, and we use that to kind of develop new ideas, new theories on something. Whereas empirical research, we're using that data to that we that we collect to generate new ideas, something that somebody else hasn't done. A um, couple different data sources. Um, primary data is it's original research. It's stuff that we that we collect ourselves. Secondary research is research that's already out there, data that's already out there. So, for instance. Um, my dissertation used um, the iPads database, which is a database where colleges dump all of their data into it. Well, that's data that's already out there. I didn't have to collect it. All I had to do was corral it, um, get it into a, a, a way that I could use it, and then report on it. The research traditions part is kind of the historical part of this. Ontology is a study of the philosophy of knowledge. Epistemology is... Um, the study of how that knowledge is acquired. And so there are kind of some kind of historical, I guess, um, foundations that um, research is kind of based on. So post-positivism, um, these people in this kind of research tradition kind of stress the need to identify and assess um, what causes or influences an outcome. So... Um, their research is kind of a process of kind of making claims and kind of then re either refining them or, or dropping them in favor of other claims. And so the knowledge here is kind of shaped by data. Um, it's rational. Um, and the research is looking to develop kind of true statements. Constructivism is kind of... Um, this idea or assumption that individuals kind of seek out an understanding of their world. And so people who are in this constructivist kind of um, research tradition or theory, um, they're looking to employ kind of open-ended questions. They're trying to, um, trying, to, trying to make sense of kind of their world. Um, the advocacy participatory paradigm it kind of insists that research inquiries kind of intertwine with politics and a political agenda and that it contains um, uh, an agenda basically inside it. So, um, you know, this kind of research is helping people kind of free themselves from the outside world, the constraints of media, language. Um, this approach is, is practical, it's collaborative, it allows researchers to... Um, to work together. And then the pragmatism or pragmatist um, research theory is primarily concerned with applications or solutions of problems. So pragmat uh, pragmatists, they're not really committed to any one system of research. Okay, they're looking at it from all different ways. They're basically trying to find what's the best way to solve a problem. So 
if you kind of look at this, this kind of lays it out the best of anything, guys. Um, so over uh, across the top of the three main research methods, and then you got the uh, kind of uh, uh, philosophical assumptions in that first row, and that's looking at the difference between kind of constructus versus post-positive versus practicum. The methods are telling you whether it's open-ended, closed-ended, or both, and then the research practices are kind of telling you um, what kind of research they're looking to do in that. So this is kind of a good way to just kind of get an idea. So this is kind of a broad overview, guys. We'll start to dive into this more as we go into each lecture. I look forward to working with you all again.